Hey everybody, this is Ben back again, and now, for this video, I'm going to now show you guys my Lord of the Rings collection, which, because, um, it has, as you probably may, may or may not know, but it actually has updated some, because, um, because the last time I did this, this is also a re-showing of the last time I did this, which was way back at the beginning of 2021 it was, on New Year's Day of that year. Of course, back then, I only just had the VHS tapes, but now, as time went on, I've gotten the um, the first half of the book, and then also the DVD of the Return of the King one, so, so, um, so because of that, as you know, it has updated, so, so with all that being said, let's go ahead and get right into this. So to start off with, we have the Fellowship of the Ring, or the Lord of the Rings Fellowship of the Ring. Real Magic, one of the best films of the year by Jules Seale, Good Morning America. This is a 2002 VHS, and the film was theatrically released in late 2001, in December, I think it was. Not too sure. A ring to rule the screen, Peter Jackson's fierce, imaginative movie takes high-flying scales and inspires us, or is, and inspires with its power and scale by David Nance and Newsweek. So, yep. Yeah. Here we have the tape right here, and the print date is July 1st, 2002, so this is a, um, so yeah, um, it was also printed just exactly three days before the 4th of July, so that's pretty cool. Anyways, next up we have Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers, this was, this is a 2003 videotape, and the film is from late 2002 in theaters. It came out to theaters in late 2002. The Supreme Film Adventure of Our Time by Richard Corliss of Time Magazine. A beautifully considered epic by Elvis Mitchell of the New York Times. So, yep. We got the label right here. And the print date is July 28, 2003, which was printed... Just about 27 or 28 days after the original tape was printed. The Fellowship of the Ring tape was printed. And finally, of the tapes and the last film in the series, we have Lloyd the Rings Return of the King. This is a 2004 video release, and the film itself came out in late 2003. Which, as you know, um, this past December was when the film celebrated its 20th anniversary. So all the films have celebrated their 20th anniversaries in 2021, 2022, and then last year, 2023, respectively. Visually, one of the most amazing achievements ever captured on film by Jeffrey Lyons of WNBC. There is no critic review um, on the back, but that's okay. This is also the longest of the Lord of the Rings films because the other films are up to two, up to three hours in length, like two hours and 58, 59 minutes. This one is over 200 minutes, which is three hours and uh, 22 minutes, I believe, or 21 maybe. I'm not really sure. This is, okay, so this is three hours and 50 minutes. This is the film's running time in total we have the label right here part one and we have part two and the print date for the first cassette is march 23rd of 2004 and then the bottom one says um march 26 just three days after the first tape was printed so anyways, there you go. That's it for the tapes. Sorry if I'm getting my toe, my feet in the shot, but it's just, it's trying to put the tapes back in while holding the phone, but anyways, moving on here, we have the DVD counterpart of Lord of the Rings, Return of the King. I don't have the, or Return of the King, simply. I don't have the first two on DVD, so I just have this one. And all three I got at the Salvation Army in Southfield. This I got from my grandfather back in August. Visually, oh, it's the same review, so I don't really need to repeat it, but. For features, um, disc one, it has the feature film. It has Dolby Digital EX 5.1 surround sound, stereo surround, or surround sound, English subtitles and closed captions, plus Spanish subtitles, and a disc two, it has the quest, it has some in-depth programs, like behind the scenes, 
stuff like the quest fulfilled a director's vision a filmmaker's journey making the return of the king national geographic special lord of the rings return of the king Futurettes created for Lord of the Rings .net. Take a closer look at the people and places of Middle Earth. Aragorn's destiny and Minas Tirith, capital of Gondor. The Battle of Pelennor Fields. Samwise the Brave. Eowyn, the White White Lady of Rohan. Digital horse doubles, original theatrical trailers and TV spots. Lord of the Rings trilogy super trailer, which is also on the videotape, and special look at electronic arts. Lord of the Rings series of video games and plus DVD ROM content. So, yep. Whoops. This is a former blockbuster rental, so it comes up, it opens like this. Here's disc one with the movie and disc two with the bonus features. And the thing that's interesting is this movie is on this release, despite the length, it's all on one disc. Because movies like Titanic or even, um, uh, and then um, Schindler's List and the uh, Ben Hur and uh, um, several other films that are like up to three hours or more than three hours would usually split on be split out of two discs. But for for this release, however, they put the film all on one disc. So so that's pretty cool that New Line decided to do that because all the other ones they would they uh, their films would be get onto like split onto two disc. Um, so that's that's kind of interesting how they decided to do it with this release and not for any and not the other studios doing it for other releases. But but that's OK. It's kind of interesting. But but anyways, and one more thing to say about the DVDs before I go on to the book is they also and even the same with the videotapes, they also did release extended versions of the VHS tapes and the DVDs. But I have neither of those. I'm not sure if I'll get them someday. I think one of my relatives has the extended versions of the of the films. Because I remember going to my aunt's house and she had some of the movies, like the extended versions, on one of the shelves, like in her living room. But I didn't ask her if I could have them, so... Or anything like that. So I'm probably going to just get them, like, probably online or other things. So, um, so someday I might get them in the future, but I prefer to get the original releases, not the extended versions, so, um, so yeah. But, who knows, um, but I just prefer to just get the original versions, though, but... Anyways, last but not least, we have the book, which is, this is the, this is a 2001 re reissue, because, you know, the movie The Fellowship of the Ring was coming out then. This was released to promote... This was this is based on the um the first half of the the Lord of the Rings book, and also the first um the first film in the series, which is the Fellowship of the Ring, of course. Yep. Yep. It starts with this, and then it continues into the Two Towers and Return of the King. There's the Tolkien logo and the New Line Cinema logo. Then the American. AOL keyword and copyrights and stuff. So, yep, it's pretty cool. I've seen neither of these movies. I have actually seen the watched the Fellowship of the Ring once back in early 2021 and um I'm not a technically a fan of Lord of the Rings, not against it, but I just I just don't really get into that kind of stuff, but but I've watched the Fellowship of the Ring back in like early 21 and I actually liked it. It is a pretty good film. Definitely one of the it's not one of my favorites, um, but it is definitely very ambitious. It's one of the, I think it's one of the greatest movies ever made. I, all three of them are, you know, are the best movies ever made. But I think a lot of people usually would consider The Fellowship of the Ring one the best, while some or most would consider The Return of the King or Two Towers. Like, I mean, it doesn't really, it's kind of hard to pick a favorite, really. So, but yeah, it is a pretty good film. I'm not sure if I'll get the other ones a chance because as you know the, those films are pretty long so i don't know if i will exactly get a chance to watch them in the future probably won't but but someday maybe if i feel like it or something i'm not too sure at the moment probably won't anytime soon but if not that's okay so so anyways um i know i kind of rambled a lot with certain things but but i just wanted to be open and be honest with what comes into my mind and 
in relation to these. So, but anyways, that's it for this video, and I'll see you again soon.